Hey Libra, how y'all doing? Welcome to the channel if you're new. Like and subscribe if you can. I'm just checking to see if everything looks okay on screen here. <laughs> all right, let's see what's going on all your, all your energy this upcoming week, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. And if any other placements pop up, you might want to check that specifically the guidance, okay? That's the intention put in. Although there may be a bit of detail with the story, okay? But the guide, there's something in the guidance that will assist you at this time, okay? I'm trying to make them short so it's easy to get through for everybody. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Spirit. What's going on for Libra the upcoming week? Magic. Or maybe something's manifesting. This could also be feeling better, too. Self-love. Lucky number seven. Seven might be significant to you. Your seventh house, maybe. You could be dealing with friends as well. Or just being a friend to self. Pagan versus Christian. Hmm. Maybe there had been some sort of challenge or will have a challenge coming up with a friend, okay? Maybe a disagreement of opinion. And at this time, a spirit is telling you that you need to invest in self right now, okay? Let's see. All right, what's going on here, Spirit? Hmm. Okay. We have success in love here, 15 and 6, June. 6 again with the 24th, thievery, 19 and 10. There's an ending here. So maybe there's some sort of ending and feeling like a loss of love in a situation. Okay. There's resolve here. This could be anything from maybe this friend or whoever this other person was uh, that was constantly opposing you. Okay. Um, had begun to felt like a, an energy vampire as well. And now there's an end to that. You're manifesting restorative energy for yourself. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. You got the 10 of pentacles, 26 and eight, 10 of wands and six of pentacles here. 15, 6, and 2 here. Definitely some good decision had been made about where energy was being invested at this time. Putting an end to sort of a loss of energy here, okay? I'm really hearing the word abundance when I see the pentacles and that love there. So however, whatever makes you feel abundant in a situation, all right? There is some burden that's dropped here or needing to be dropped in this situation. Maybe it had become costly, I mean, your energy is your most valuable currency here. But maybe some truth is coming out that will help free the situation of a bit and actually make that better decision, right, for yourself. Maybe there have been a lack of reciprocity in this situation. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Nine of Swords. Maybe it had been a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, maybe it had taken its toll on your emotions here with the Queen of Cups. You also have Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. With the judgment. Okay. You made a good judgment for self. Okay. Maybe it had been something you've been holding off on because you were fearful of how the response to it might have been. Maybe you're the one giving this secret. Maybe you're the one breaking up with this person or cutting them off. And it's a good decision for you. 
We got lucky number seven here. This is definitely divinely guided for you to do. To, you have the ending there at the end. It'll only lead to a new beginning. Okay. Tell me about this nine of swords. Could be in a work situation. Eight of uh, pentacles. Four of cups. Oh, I see here. There was some worry about whether or not um, what you would want out of this situation would work out. Yeah, two of swords and six of wands. Okay. If this decision to leave or stay would actually work out either way. Okay. But tell me about the call judgment here. Sounds like to me you made a good judgment call. Page of cups. Yes, that could be absolutely nurturing energy, good news, loving to self or loving to each, mm -hmm. two of wands here, okay, heading in the right direction, and it's all about emotions, so you'd be happy with the sun here, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy as well, okay, so I'm getting the sense that right now there may be a pause, okay, you need to nurture self right now, both well, both the Queen of Cups as well as um, the magic energy here. Yeah, and that would be a good thing to do at the moment. Whatever had just happened, making the decision to leave what you left behind was a-okay, a, a -okay, okay? Good job. But I'm not getting the sense that you're going to be jumping into anything just yet, Okay. Flowers surrounding curled of leaf means happiness surmounted over grief. So maybe do things that make you happy at this time and raise your vibration, okay? Bits of luck and fortune await. You have the potential to make life great. And you are being, you do have clover and lucky number seven here too, okay? All right, let's get you some guidance. Mother Earth, stay grounded, do earthy things. Gemini just got this as well. So you might want to check that out. Sacral Chakra, 11. Wow, look at that, 111. <laughs> Definitely manifestation happening. Ones might be significant for you, okay? 19 does break down to a 10, and you break that down further. What do we have? A 1. So endings do lead to new beginnings here. Something is definitely being manifested. Inspiration. You might find that out in being immersed with Gaia at this time. All right. There may be something an animal does in front of you that's inspirational for some kind of creative spark or idea. Okay. Birthing something new here. And it could be some sort of intuitive feeling as well with the Queen of Cups. Okay. Speaking of animals, talk to me, spirit. Humpback whale, music is essential to your healing as well and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. And I really do get the sense that you might have to be out in Mother Nature. Uh, so that would even include birdsong, okay, or any of the sounds that nature makes, okay? The wind howling, whistling, the rain coming down, that kind of thing, okay? Shark, trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. Oh, we got two more here. Cardinal, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance, so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. And meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And that could just be you coming to YouTube, okay? But people that are in alignment with you, okay? a little different than others other reads here let's get a few <laughs> i'm going to get you a lot of guidance all right tune in and connect nonverbal communication intuition and messages like i said you might actually get that through gaia at this time
get into nature, coexistence, gather and limit waste. This could even uh, be a like-minded group to maybe do some environmental cleanup as well, because that does talk about environmentalism. You know, like heal the bay or tree people or something like that. Heal the bay is just cleaning up the beach. So maybe like cleanup of nature might be helpful. Awaken your inner shaman, connect, invoke, and heal. Definitely tuning in and connecting and maybe even working with fire. Fire would be helpful at this time. Find your voice, express yourself, open up, sing out. Again with the music, right? The humpback whale here. Let's get a couple more. Okay. Spirit guides, insight, guidance, and purpose. And I'm especially seeing the big birds of prey there that can fly up high. Respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, and relax, okay? Really just getting a sense of chilling out with Mother Nature. Maybe hanging out with other people, help clean her up a bit. Do some energy clearing of some kind or another at this time. And really just deeply connecting with all things spirit, okay? Okay, let's get you some guidance from the metaphysical cannabis oracle. See what the herb has to tell you. What else, spirit? One, please. My booty key. Not my booty, but <laughs> here you go. My booty. <laughs> All right. Stick you there. All right. The number 124 or 124 might be significant. I'm seeing December 4th, January 24th, March 4th, or some variable of 3, 4, 1, 2. Okay. <laughs> um, that's a 7 as well. That might be significant. 34 might be significant as well as 16, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Mabuti is smiling with a welcoming hand movement that is representative of Tai Chi as multiple keys circle around him. The last card of the deck is the source card. This is the very last card of the deck, Lovelet, which serves as a reminder that you have all the answers within you. Balance in all forms is true to any key. Symbols from around him spiral. All the lessons from the cards come to fruition here in a full circle. So whatever you had been experiencing and was meant to bring you here full circle, I'm getting Wheel of Fortune vibes here or the world here, okay? Definitely with Mother Earth sitting there, for sure. End of a cycle. Ready, ready to begin a new beginning, but you need a period of rest right now, okay? Mabuti. <laughs> I know I'm probably mispronounced this. <laughs> All right. Shows us that the key to your happiness is indeed within yourself. Even coming to the cards is only a reminder to spend time balancing the energies inside all of us. If Mabuti has shown up for you, ask yourself, Am I ready to transform? Am I ready to heal? Am I ready to co-create? Spoiler alert, you are. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's pull some, pull a guy, piece of card from the Foxfire Kitsune Oracle, please, Spare for Libra. Oh, give me a second here, guys. Yes, I made it in there. Uh, <laughs> this incense just likes to burn long and have long ash and so I'm like no you're never going to make it in the dish if you do that okay one please all right 39 beneath the surface Actually, I'm going to stick that up here can you see it okay let's see yeah it's good enough 
39 is 12. That breaks down to a 3, so definitely good news. And you are protected, okay, by all your higher-ups, okay? All right. There is much within the world that can be misread when we look upon the surface. When we see with over-accustomed eyes the world around us, we cannot truly see what is there. We need experience and depth and perception, attention, when we seek to truly know something. And so, this card is urging you to go beneath the surface. So even go deeper than you've gone before, right? Maybe that's your new cycle coming upon you, is to go dig even deeper, right? Which this beautiful mermaid is preparing to do. It can be easy to glide above and to avoid the depths or to fail to see the true power of something. Because we look upon the ocean and see its calm, we can underestimate its strength. And this is what you're being asked to do. Do not go lightly into deep emotional waters, but know their strength and life-changing power by diving beneath the surface. Know that as you go deep, you will encounter currents and the power of the ocean, the emotional world above you. But it is not the time to stay on the surface. So many others feel this is, is adequate, that their lives are in many ways satisfactory. But to know the true potential of yourself and of your life, you will need to take a deep breath and dive deep. There's no need for fear or panic. Remain calm, no matter how challenging it, it can seem to be beneath the world in which others seem to connect, be content to live. This life is not for you. And nor are the ailments and personal stunting of growth that others experience over and over again. That four of cups energy, right? Because they never found a way to go beneath the apparent nature of reality and go deep within. This being of the Kitsune realm now asks you to join her in the quest for the hidden depths of life. Know you are seeking the truth about your own soul. That is a, re a reward worth the risk. Love it. Yeah, I get the feeling that you're going to be in a period of rest and a period of just observation right now. This may be training for going deeper, okay, at this time. So, for the week, Spirit, let's get Libra a mantra that they can use any time they like. And they can access the video I did of it as well. I do believe they're all there. <laughs> all right, and if it's not... Uh, I guess just hit me up, okay? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> and I can go make one, all right? This is for lucid dreaming. Ooh, okay, we're going to do two now. So lucid dreaming may be specific to one of y'all right now. Um, mid dreams to avoid over manipulation of dreams, okay? Please show me what I need to see, okay? Let's go for one more. Ooh, hello. Can I get you? All right. I feel energized, motivated, and deeply inspired to be alive. Love it. There you go, Libra. Until next week. Bye-bye.